I'd like to invite Antika Gregani to the stage. Antika is from the College of Engineering and Computer Science, and the title of her three-minute thesis tonight is Green Energy, Is It Completely Green? What comes to your mind when you think about renewable energy? Completely clean, green, and environmentally friendly, right? Well, we call these technologies green because they produce energy using the natural resources like the sun, the wind. But this green has the blackness which we often don't notice. Have you ever thought about the harsh and toxic chemicals that are used during the manufacturing of renewable energy devices, in particular, nanoparticles. Making nanoparticles requires toxic substances which impact our air, land, water, in fact, our entire ecosystem. But it's hard to see those black secrets of green because superficially it looks green. Making green truly green is a challenge that is often ignored. In my PhD, I have come up with an exciting way, an environmental friendly way of making nanoparticles to harvest solar energy. Instead of using any harsh chemicals, I used mechanical energy to induce the chemical reactions. This method is quite similar to producing flour for multigrain bread, where we mix different grains, grind them together, and the multigrain flour is ready. Similarly, in the lab, I mixed different compounds, ground them together, and my nanoparticles were ready. Using the milling technique, I successfully made the smallest specific green nanoparticles ever. Making a small particles is important because the smaller the particles, the better their reactivity is because of high surface area. I then exposed these nanoparticles to the simulated sunlight, where they captured the solar energy and used this energy to break the water molecule into a clean fuel, hydrogen, and a happy byproduct, oxygen. Producing fuel using solar energy in this way is actually inspired by the nature and the plants. Our poor practices around making nanoparticles have long-term consequences. Our children, grandchildren, will suffer deadly diseases due to polluted atmosphere. If nothing is done to make our green technologies truly green, we all have a black future. <laughs> 